Hi there. In this video, we'll be looking at conductors and insulators building a simple series circuit. So I'm using this FET simulation and it is called Circuit Construction Kit DC Virtual Lab. Now, in order to test whether a material does conduct or not, I'm just going to build a simple series circuit with this thing here, which is labeled in the FET simulation as a battery. Of course, in National 5, we would call that a cell. If I have more than one of them, then of course it's a, a battery of cells, but a single one of these is just known as a cell. Now, what I'm actually doing is, as I said, building a very simple circuit with the cell and a lamp. I'll put that down there because the first material I'm going to check to see if it does conduct is this thing here, which is an eraser. So what I want to do is just build up the circuit like so and leave a gap in order to place the material to be tested. The other thing I'll do is I'll place in a switch in the circuit. Now you can see that when I click with the left mouse button and then drag this component here, then it moves it around. But if I was to do the same at the connector, then I can then rotate it like so. If I want a vertical switch, as I do in this case, and almost there, move that down. There we have it. I'll just move that lamp down a little bit, get it to look as neat as possible. There we have it. Now, when I then place that eraser in the circuit and close the switch like so, if this conducts, then hopefully you'll know that the lamp is going to light. If it doesn't conduct, then of course the lamp won't light. Let's see what happens. And of course you can see that you should have known already that an eraser won't conduct. Why don't we try something that we know will conduct? And that's of course something made of metal because of course metals are conductors. We'll go down and we'll check out the paper clip. So there we have it, close that circuit. You can maybe see as well, when I'm making a connection, you can actually see that these, the ends of these wires turn black in color. When there's no connection, you can see that they're red. So when I move that over there, complete the connection, you can see that it turns black. Now close the switch here, and now you can see that the lamp is lighting. And of course, we can also see a flow of electrons. Of course, conductors, they're materials that allow electrical charge to flow freely. So you can see that electrons are flowing freely in the circuit. In this case, the electrons are moving from the negative terminal of that cell at the left hand side, anti-clockwise round to the positive terminal. And that positive terminal is on the right hand side. Now in Scotland, in National Phi Physics, we talk about an electron current. So the direction of the current would be anti-clockwise. In some countries, they talk about conventional current, and I can actually look at conventional current by clicking up here in the top right. Conventional current is the flow of imaginary positive charges. So in that case, that would be clockwise. I'm not gonna to talk too much about that because we don't use that system in Scotland. We talk about electron current. So there you have it. So the paper clip is obviously conducting. Open up the switch. Get rid of that, make that gap slightly larger, but I'm gonna place in something else that conducts and that is a pencil. So as I said, of course, metals are conductors, but a pencil lead is actually made of carbon in the form of graphite. So when I close the switch, you can actually see again that that lamp is lighting, but it's not as bright as it was before. And the reason is because the current in the circuit is actually, actually lower than it was before. And that's because the pencil lead has a higher resistance than of course the resistance of the paper clip. Talking about current and resistance, what I could do is I could take out this wire and I could place an ammeter in series right there. And we could actually measure the current in the circuit. So if I do that, you'll actually see that the current in this circuit at the moment is 0 0.26 amps. Move that cell slightly to the left. So a current with the pencil in the circuit of 0 0.26 amps. Let's see what it is when I place that paper clip back into the circuit. And I end up with, well, one thing is of course that lamp is much brighter, but when we look at the ammeter, we end up with a current of 0 0.9 amps. So a much higher current and that means that the resistance of that paper clip is much lower than the resistance of the pencil lead. 
Now, get that pencil back one last time. In another video, I'm going to be talking about Ohm's law. And in fact, I could work out the resistance of this pencil lead using Ohm's law. Of course, Ohm's law is V is equal to I times R, which I could then rearrange to R is equal to V over I, as in resistance is voltage divided by current. So if I drag this voltmeter and place these two connections either side of the pencil. So I'm measuring, as you can see, the current. This ammeter is in series within that series circuit. The voltmeter is actually placed in parallel across the pencil. Now, taking this voltage here, 6.43 volts, and of course the current in the pencil. Well, in a series circuit, the current's the same at all points. So if the current up here is 0 0.26 amps, that also means that the current in the pencil is 0 0.26 amps. Using Ohm's law then, the resistance of that pencil, R is equal to V over I, would be 6.43 volts, divided by 0 0.26 amps is 24.7 ohms. As I said, we'll be going to, into this in more detail in another video when I'm talking about Ohm's law. So why not try out this FET simulation yourself? Try some of these other materials. You can see that we can actually place a hand into the circuit. A dog, I'm not going to try that myself. My nephew, just this weekend, in fact, got a new dog. And uh, I don't think it would be very nice me placing a dog, even though it's just a virtual dog, wouldn't be very nice me placing that into the circuit. Uh, but yeah, you can try out some of these other materials, see if they conduct or not see if they're conductors or insulators. But for now though, that's us. We'll see you in the next one.